Oh, and Connor's now listening to some fucking decent music. Yeah! Oh, for a minute I thought it was Velvet Revolver. Oh, well. Right, let's get out of the car. So, we've just failed the strip club mission. So, okay. So, we're in a car. There's a park. I'm guessing. Uh, yay, it's another magazine. The mysterious Mr. Kamsky. Uh, let's read on. Happens in the man of the century in 2028. Ija Kamsky was the man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy, they changed the way we live, restructured our family life, and altered the balance of society forever, forever good or bad. Shortly after Kamsky had disappeared, as his CEO of Cyberlife and living in obscurity outside media glare, the man of the century had left the very world that he created. Kamsky's story begins in 2018. Oh, last year, when commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracted many startups. The college graduate bet what all he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail as he was hitting on two breakthroughs Blue Blood and Bio Components. So he's responsible for the Blue Blood malarkey and probably the red, what's it called, the red crystals. Uh, after unveiling his first working model, which publicly Past face to face Turing tests and stunned the world. Plans were later mass production, and Cyberlife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet, at the peak of Cyberlife's powers, when the company was approaching 5 billion valuation, 5 or 500 billion valuation, rumors emerged that Kamsky disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He later departed over mysterious circumstances. Today, sources claim Kamsky is living in a luxurious villa by the water somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What's in the mind of Mr. Kamsky? Uh, I don't know. I want to go to the next article. Market predicts war. Oh, this is the Arctic conflict. Oh, this is like reading like fucking times. The aggregated US stock exchange closed trading 10 points down yesterday following a string of similarly poor performance in recent weeks. Financial experts are attributing this poor performance to huge devaluations of consumer stocks as the market continues to bet that America will go to war the Arctic sooner rather than later. The assessment is supported by healthy performance military stocks, aviation and weapons manufacturers enjoying unprecedented growth. Investors are also continuing to favour Cyberlife because of its partnership with the Department of Defence to develop and supply military androids. With Russia and the United States continuing to dominate world news and neither side likely to back down, the market is expected to continue to fall. Right, that's enough of that. Right, so. I don't know what Connor is trying to do. Oh, talk to Hank? Where is Hank? Where the fuck is Hank? Oh, there he is. Hank is drinking a beer. Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Personal question? Uh, personal question. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to 
pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. Before, Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. It's all subject. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. RA9. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? I wish we had found that girl that killed that guy. Maybe she had a reason. Maybe she was just defending herself. Uh-uh. Cold? What difference would it make? We know what happened. A defective machine killed a human. What about you, Connor? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? You troll. I'm whatever you want me to be, Lieutenant. Hey. Your partner, your buddy to drink with, or just a machine designed to accomplish a task. Nothing else matters to you but your goddamn investigation, huh? Doubts, no mistakes, no weaknesses. Human being just like me, only perfect. Uh, let's go understand. Nothing matters more to me than this investigation. But I understand if you have a different point of view. Oh. But are you afraid to die, Connor? You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation. And have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Hank's anger. Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Sounds a bit rude. Tough and lots though. Whoa! I was not expecting that. Fuck, he killed me. Okay, so am I pretty much dead? Hank shot Connor. Oh, feck. Okay. Right, next one. <laughs> That's pretty fucked up.
we're back with Marcus. Starting to see like abusive humans. I reckon he's gonna go full killer. Oh, I could go full killer. Oh, North. Josh. Simon. Can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Oh, we're going to infiltrate the studio. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Request access at reception. Right, let's have a quick wander around first. Speak to reception. Hello. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract human supervisor. I'll find some clues. Smartwatch, okay. Elizabeth Wilson, desk manager. Home address. So we might be able to create some sort of an emergency parking badge or we could say I guess her car is fucked a supervisor's daughter's child Emily Wilson okay or we could say there's an emergency with the child Elizabeth Wilson speaking uh, let's go parking has no. a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. <sighs> oh no. All right. Oh, I'll be right there. Okay, so she, she's distracted. to get in. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? 
Y uh, yes, yes, of course. Uh, give ID. I need your help. I've just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Thank you, cute android. I need some pass security now. Okay. Use the elevator. Is it this elevator or? Yeah, it's got to be. Right, so we're in. Find package in men's bathroom. Okay, so where is the bathroom? Server, meeting room, men's room, cafeteria. The um, actual room. Pretty cool. That's where they're doing the news. I got feeling the um, oh, the bathroom is over here. I do want to have just like a little bit of a nose. Hoover. Cleaning in progress. Oh, hello. Who are you? Having some sort of meeting there. Alright, that's the bathroom. So that's where we need to go. I wish you'd walk a bit faster. Room. This is the cafe. I'll speak to any of these people. I hear KNC is hiring. I guess the pay would be better. Couldn't be any worse. Max says they're not sending androids. Far exit. Oh, what's this? It's just a cleaning trolley. Okay, right, let's head to this bathroom. I do like that cleaning cleaning robot though. That's awesome. Vacuum the carpet. Okay. Uh, this is the men's. Now I've got to look for a package. Alright, people are taking a poo in there. Climb, I guess. Retrieve. Okay. So somebody went to the trouble of putting something in there. Why didn't they just do the whole job in the first place? Alright, okay. So it's in disguise as a... As an android. I 
So what's what everyone needs to do? Access the server room. Okay. Oh. So I right, didn't notice. I'm just a common garden android. Right, where is the server room? Oh, find a utility android. Okay. Like this one. Can I use this? Is this a utility android? Okay, probably not. Right, I think the server room was back over here. Maybe not there. Just wondering if there's um ah, there's something over there. Hey, it's our good old Detroit today. GI Android. Android troops, oh man. Supplements. This supplement's an estimated 200,000 units already in service across the US military. Actual numbers are a guarded military secret. Among these 50,000 new units or 2,500 are Mermion elite prototypes capable of infiltration and assassination missiles that would historically fail force and Navy SEALs. US Army's fighting forces are already compromised mainly of an mainly, mainly of androids with humans tending to serve as commanders and stra strategists, but even these positions are supported by complex AI, leading some to describe US military as the first fully autonomous autonomous fighting force. This has reopened the ethical debate around androids in the military, with some suggesting that machines don't have moral reasoning to make life death decisions. In the field, Bob Woods, a head of war victims NGO, describes the news as troubling, saying machines are focused on a single task and don't evaluate moral consequences well. This will mean more civilian deaths. President Warren, a woman in trouble. A woman in trouble. Can she still lead the country? Barely a year after her election, President Warren is having a bumpy start to her term after rising to prominence in a, as a fee logger. Warren has no experience in the government and has relies on social media and celebrity to secure election. Now with her camp in disarray, even her allies are beginning to wonder if she will manage after several months of calamitous political failures. Mired in accusations that she is too close to big business, Warren is under investigation to determine whether or not she has benefited from cyber life's health in obtaining compromising information about her opponent during the presidential campaign. Can she still lead the country? In this poisonous climate, the former celebrity must deal with the highest unemployment rate in American history, whilst facing the United States' greatest threat in recent decades. Conflict in the Arctic threatens to dislodge world peace, leaving many concerned that President Warren is the one tasked with finding a solution. Ooh. Right, okay. Right, we need to find a utility android. But here's the server room, so. But I need to find a utility android. There's something there's something's over there. I might have to walk into the newsroom. And this one. I need your help. Okay. Steel maintenance car. Okay. Cool. This is going all right so far. Uh, 
open the fire escape. Okay, the fire escape was just around the corner, I believe. There it is. Okay, there's an orf. Follow north, okay. I'm following. Shit. We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Open the fire. Attract guards away from the door. Hey, you still play poker? Sure, what? Can you see it? So can I tell this, find this Mike guy and tell him about the poker? Track guards away from the door. Maybe I can get them around the corner. Ah, oh, Jesus. Come on. Ah! Oh, I got a chair through my leg. Ah, oh, that's good. Cool, we're in the server room. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. It's a lock. Cool. Take. Oh, what I forgot to do? Reach the top floor, cut windows. Okay, drop. Place. Take laser saw. <laughs> Hooray! Cut. This is all very high tech. Pull. Here it comes. Go through. Ladies first. After you, toots. All right, here we go.
Oh, this is pretty sweet. Let's climb this tower. 